Because <laughs> why do we film videos late at night? Because we love it. Yes. Because we love it. Just like Quentin Tarantino says, why do we make movies? Because we love it. Because we love it. Uh, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Do not adjust your screens. You are not watching Haunt Talk on Exploring Attractions. You're now watching Haunt Talk with your host, Scott, from Exploring Attractions and Rob from The Howling Hour, home for all things scary and spooky related. And you are watching the Knights of Horror and Halloween Horror Night speculation. Uh, right. <laughs> I had to throw that little jab in. I mean, I know uh, <laughs> Rob, if you guys don't know, has been a part of Haunt Talk, and him and Scott have created this podcast to talk about Haunt Year Round, and they've been interviewing scare actors um, yes. and just overall having fun with it a wide variety of topics uh for you guys but congratulations on the scare actors Thank you. man that's that's huge man i can't wait to see uh hopefully you guys get some more on in the future oh for sure that, that's the plan and appreciate it appreciate the love and uh from everyone else uh who supported the channel uh we were truly truly grateful um you know it's 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 you know i've watched you do it for years and uh i was just like i never it's not something and I, i've talked to you about it it's not something i was like you know, I wanted to do it, but at the same time, I was just like, I didn't feel like I had the, the, I don't know, the insight the way you do, but you know, with doing it with Scott and stuff and just kind of being able to bounce off each other. And, and I feel like I'm kind of finding, uh, finding my, my lane. And, uh, I like it. I like talking to the characters. Uh, you know, the six flags people have been, uh, really, really, uh, supportive and, and all the haunt people have been really supportive and, and also uh, you, so thanks, Tony. Of course, anytime. So I'm going to leave some links down in the description for Exploring Attractions page for the Haunt Talk YouTube channel because um, you can find all the clips and, and moments from Haunt Talk if you guys just kind of want to watch the clips. Either way, go support them. Go follow them on their socials at the Howling Hour at Exploring Attractions. Um, but today's video, Halloween Horror Nights. Now, our, the, the good people over at HN Nightmares have blessed us uh, yet again with the first speculation map for the HHN season for 2024 season uh and before we jump into that because there is a lot to decipher you and i are going to be freaking batman and robin today investigating yeah. the crime I'm gonna bring my I'm gonna bring my magnifying glass and yeah look at sherlock look holmes it you know That's it's right. it's gonna it's gonna go we're gonna get into these 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 logos what we think they mean all that stuff we may be wrong we may be right but we're gonna have fun with it um yes. We're going to address some of the rumors that they've been speculating in the HHN community as of lately um, and some speculations that I have, some speculations that Rob have of just personal interest of things we'd like to see. Uh, and then we're going to jump into HHN Nightmare. So this is probably going to be one of the longer videos. Usually these breakdowns are. So uh, strap on in, grab them snacks, grab them drinks, because we are about to have some fun with it, starting with our first rumor that we've been hearing for a while. We thought it was going to come last year. The movie came out last year. It was a huge success in the box office. Blumhouse's number one uh, box office movie of all time, which is huge for that company. Um, and overall, just a huge fan base, and that's Five Nights at Freddy's. Sequel is on the way. Got greenlit by Blumhouse, um, and it is going to be a lot of fun to see where that goes. But to see it as a walkthrough attraction at Halloween Horror Nights. I mean, my mind's already going a million different ways of how this can be <laughs> accomplished. Uh, there's so many great scenes in that movie. I think they did a really good job, you know, the writers with the lore and everything. I myself don't know too much about it. Um, I've watched a lot of streams of streamers playing the game, so okay. basically what I've seen them play is what I know. Um, I know the basic concept of the game of you just kind of surviving all five nights and all these animatronics are coming alive to try to kill you. Um, but... I think they did a really good job not only grounding the story to kind of fit in with a, uh, like all generations and all like right. ages, but they did a good job with the fans too because I, I remember watching a ton of videos and there was a lot of people in theater just freaking out over Easter eggs and little things here and there, and I was just like, wow, okay. I'm glad they pleased <laughs> the fans. I'm glad that the fans want a second one, and you and I have been hearing for now this this the second year in a row that people want to see this property at Halloween Horror Nights. I think this year out of all years makes sense. Oh, for sure. I, I agree with you. I think uh, just like how you mentioned, uh, they've already greenlit a sequel. So the popularity and the demand is there. Uh, if it comes to HHN, uh, I think it would be one of the more popular uh, houses because 
not only are you going to have the new kind of uh, fans from the movie who enjoyed the movie, but you're going to have those old school fans who played the video games and want to see it, you know, in in a form that you can walk through and almost feel like you're playing the game. So I think this would definitely be uh, one of the more popular houses, uh, I would say, um, you know, probably you're, you're going to they're going to you're going to have to wait in a two hour line to get through this uh this house so uh definitely if they bring it it's gonna be one of the high demand houses yeah 100 percent. i think that uh you know if you're gonna do a, a property like this i think the best way to accomplish it in my opinion would probably be to put it in, inside of a sound stage sure. um and we're gonna get into that because uh you know there's a lot to talk about on the speculation map but yeah i think a sound stage would be really good for it um and I think that, you know, there's a lot of room to play with on that one. A lot of oh, things sure. you could bring to life. The, I think the costumes alone would be amazing to see in person. Yeah. Um, and I think that, that, that this could be a scary fun time. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Uh, the next one I want to talk about, which this one kind of shocked me a little bit because I, I, I've i never in my lifetime that I've gone to Horror Nights uh, have I seen a solo Nightmare on Elm Street maze. But Nightmare on Elm Street is another property that's being thrown okay. around there. Um, in my opinion, Freddie would make a great icon for the Hollywood event this year. Uh, I think that's another property that can drive in a lot of money. Freddie okay. is a huge slasher, a, a huge fan base, a huge following. And I really think that if you bring Freddie into this event, it could help the event as well. Uh, they already do a great job of bringing these iconic films, iconic, uh, stories to life and give you the most detailed experience as possible. Right. No, I, I, and I think you are right. I've never seen, I've personally never seen a solo, uh, Freddy nightmare on Elm street house. It's always been uh Freddy versus Jason or like the, uh, uh, the Titans of terror. Um, so, and, and Freddy has a plethora of kills and movies you can pull from. So, I mean, we, we've had a, uh, you know, a, a leather face. We've had Michael Myers, um, let's let's bring Freddie. Let's let's give Freddie his own solo house and give him a shot. Right here, I actually uh, when I worked at um, the, the one of the last schools I met, I met a teacher who actually uh, handcrafted the Freddie claws, and he crafted nice. them all to Robert England's hand and everything. But like the blades and everything are real. Like this is the most accurate, probably screen accurate uh, Freddie claw that you're ever going to like. Get, That's cool. you know what I mean. So like he, the detail, everything like. And and he and he did a really amazing job. He was very he was a prof he he found himself as a perfectionist. So if like it, it wasn't good or anything, he would take it back and kind of fix it and until it was perfect. That's, so that's cool. Yeah. So this very gem cool. right here, one day I would love to get signed by Robert, Robert England if I can. I know it's considered somewhat of like a weapon, so I don't even know if I would be able to. But if if there was any if the stars align one day, I want to get that signed by Robert England. Yeah, we have to track him down. We'll track him down. Yeah, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Yeah. But yeah, I think Nightmare on Elm Street could be fun. Um, there, like you said, there's a lot for them to pull from. Uh, right. In my opinion, my two favorite or my three favorite Nightmare on Elm Street movies are obviously the first one is a classic. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street: Dream Warriors is another instant classic, um, and New Nightmare, which really elevated okay. the horror genre in a whole different movie and a whole different level, bringing kind of like that realism and that real life. Uh, world of like them actually playing themselves and then them kind of uh s you know freddie taunting them pretty much saying that i'll go away if you unless you make another nightmare movie and yeah it was like a demon kind of taunting them but playing freddie i thought that was really cool um it kind of gave me like some scream vibes and that was around the era that okay. you know um what's his name um I, I i can't believe i'm blanking on his name right now Talking about Craven? Wes Craven, yeah. That was around the era he was doing, of course, you know, more realism horrors, you know, from Night New Nightmare than you got Scream. Um, right. Again, which is another one that this is going to go with speculation off what I would love to see. Uh, you know, we're working on a seventh Scream movie now, and yes. we've had two new ones that came out. I know the screen the Scream rights are always a challenge to get. I've only ever seen Scream at the event one time, which was the very first time I went in 2011 for the Terror Tram right. um, for Scream 4. And so I'd love to see a scream maze too to kind of transition into that. I mean, I think a scream maze, especially with what we've been seeing with these new scream movies, what you can even do with the old movies, it, th this can work. Like scream will it, it will work. Oh, for sure. I mean, 
uh scream is now at this point one of those i mean ghostface specifically is one of those icons if you will uh who's kind of you know there's you have those titans who we grew up with you know through the 80s and early 90s and and now it you know as an adult now i you know scream ghostface has become one of my titans you know he's on my rush more of of you know horror icons so well i gotta uh, i gotta stop you there let's only let's be honest the only reason he's on that mount rushmore is because hey 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 no that hey that's a whole other thing (laughs) a whole other thing i i'm i'm are you public about that i am public about that yeah for those who don't know and i i I made i i i I made him very jealous when i went to monster palooza one year um he uh his his one like if if you know the term hall pass or anything like he's yeah. talked about this with Robin. His one like his true love in cinema was always Nev Campbell. Nev Campbell, Party Did, of Five. I, I'm pretty sure Nev he Campbell. you only watched Twisted Metal just because she was in it for that little bit. You know, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> he's like I watched her two episodes and I bounced. Yeah, I was done. But you know, no. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm I'm willing to admit. You know, I can separate the two. My love for Nev Campbell. And my love for Scream. Two different things. Awesome. Um, but yeah, I mean, go Ghostface. Come on, man. It's like, and I, I know I know what you're saying. For years, it's been difficult to get the rights to get Ghostface to get Scream. Yeah. But I mean, man, if we ever got Scream, it'd be I, so good. It would be so amazing. No matter what movie they decided to do. Dude, even if they did a compilation of all seven movies, just to yeah, pull just some famous kills from all of them. A bunch of kills from all I mean, you got you you have like the garage. The garage door. You dude, have, the first one has a ton iconic, dude. Like, yeah, oh, it sure. just it gets the, the it, tree, yeah. like the tree. It's just, it, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give yep. it to Rob. Yeah, I, I, I honestly, I can't wait to see where that goes. Um, and you know, uh, this is gonna be one for me, but I think this may translate also to the speculation map, but only because I just watched it recently and I really thought it was good. I think it's great maze potential, and that's. Something I would love to see, something that would be a little bit different for Horror Nights too, and I think different in a very good way. Uh, the Last Voyage of the Demeter. Um, okay. Universal just released that. Obviously, the story of Dracula coming from uh, Scotland to England and that whole journey of the Demeter and what happened with that. Um, something they've told in previous movies before, but you never got to see that aspect of things, and now they got to take you back and see how that went down. Um fucking great movie uh the entire movie you you just kind of like one by one watching these motherfuckers die and just seeing dracula and how evil he looks and how more evolved he gets as he starts feeding more by the time he gets to england man this guy is like a full-blown man already like he's in full almost full full power form and it's just okay it is incredible an incredible movie and yeah, the movie takes place on a ship the entire time, but there is that ship is so big that they go in so many different areas that I think you can make this this work. I think the only aspect about it is trying to capture the illusion about being on the ocean the entire time. Okay. But if Knots can do it with the depths, there's no question yeah. in my mind that yeah. Halloween Horror Nights can do it. For sure. I mean, it's 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 Horror Nights. They they it's a movie studio. They can do whatever they want. They could make us feel like we're wherever they decide uh, to put us. Look what they did with Stranger Things, man. They put us in the upside down. They put us in a desert for a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> so it's insane. All right. Well, uh, that's really about the only thing I have to speculate for right now. Um, if I come up with any more that I would like to. Oh, one last one. Just because I thought this was probably one of the greatest mazes I ever walked through. Okay. I would love, I would love, because I would love to see how many people would get mad over it. I wouldn't because I'm over it already. I would love to see The Last of Us Part Two come to Halloween Horror Nights. Especially if they're running with the game version of it. Obviously, I know the uh, the show is put on by Warner Brothers. It's on uh, HBO. So right. um, running with the game version of it to do Part Two and then to do that one scene and to piss a lot of the Last of Us fans <laughs> off. But I'm like, God damn, that scene was necessary because that's a huge part of the game. Yeah. But I think Last of Us Part Two could be a lot of fun. Um, 
it's no question that that was easily probably the greatest maze at the event last year, yet alone probably one of the greatest detailed mazes I've ever been through in my life. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, yeah. Especially because me being a huge diehard fan of this game, to see it come to life, you know, the game at least. I mean, we kind of saw it to an extent with – we saw it a lot, obviously, uh, a mere reflection with it with a show. Uh, right. But to, 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 to kind of live through that now. To be immersed into that world, it was just so beautiful that I want to see. I know they can pull it out and do a part two, and there's a lot of things to work with with part two. Um, I know part two is more character story driven, but there are still a lot of moments where you see uh, some good clicker pop up scenes. So, right, Last of Us Part Two, dude. I, I think it can be another I mean, great uh, I mean, fit I mean for the event. I mean, uh, when you just say Last of Us Part Two, I'm even thinking like they didn't even really they didn't tell the full story of the last of us the first last of us so they're, they're, they could even take a piece of you know the first story and just tell that again not not so much the uh like uh, off the first video game so they don't even have to go to part two yet they could just tell a different story in in the first video game if if they wanted to but you know i i, I get people would probably want part two because of certain um memorable scenes if you will <laughs> What a good, good terminology. What are they going to call it? Last of Us Part One, Part Two. Yeah. <laughs> there, you go. there you go, dude. I, I, yeah, I love that maze. They did such a phenomenal job. I know I'm not the only one. I know Tim's uh, girlfriend, uh, Mrs. E, really loved that maze a lot as well. Uh, she is also a diehard fan of the game. Uh, Josue really loved the maze. Like a lot of people in the community talked very highly of that maze. Um, and they they accomplished what they set out to accomplish, and then some, I think, uh, in my opinion. Yeah. Oh, no, I agree. Agreed. Um, so, yeah, I, I think Last of Us Part Two would be great. You know The Last of Us Part One did successful for you guys. It brought in numbers for you guys. Um, I, I remember going to the event one night and actually seeing the line for the maze, and I've never seen this in the history of me going to the event. They had to shut down the line because it was at a three-hour wait. They were yeah. not letting – they were turning was, people away from that line, and I was like, yeah, that, that shows you something. Insane. You know, that's, yeah, that's that's I mean, popularity. Look there it is. is, you know, and luckily that night I had the uh, the R.I.P. stuff so I could just walk. We okay. had, dude, highly suggest R.I.P. next year. Dude, you get your own separate line and you literally just walk straight to the front of the maze. Like I'm thinking I'm thinking of doing that. This this uh, dude, make a video season. out of it, dude. It's fun. And I'm thinking of doing that because the buffet is great. The all you can eat buffet was actually pretty decent. All you can drink soda and and water all night, so I was just loading up on waters, you know, and you know I was just I we probably had at least like ten waters that night, bro, uh, and a few sodas, you know, and then uh, they have a dessert station later on in the night, but like you no, get I'm, I'm uh can great. neither com confirm nor deny having a buddy bring me out some beverages and some snacks from from the R I P uh, area, but so is his so, name uh, SoCal Exploring Attractions? <laughs> no, not that guy. He's a uh, Entertainment Connection. He, no, no, not that guy. Not that guy. <laughs> TLEV Media? Uh, <laughs> no. He's he not a YouTube. He's not a YouTuber. <laughs> he's a he's a who I we, did you see who I was there with uh opening night? La Saga? Yeah, La Saga. La Saga. Yeah, that sounds like a La Saga. La Saga spends a lot of money on either Halloween Horror Nights or Immortal Masks. Yeah, yeah. So La Saga hooked me up with uh he's, with I got snacks. you. I got hey, La Saga. Yeah, he's like I, I I got you. I got you. That then he comes like out him. with like four waters. He's like, like, hey, put him in your backpack. <laughs> Thanks, Lasaga. Oh yeah, Lasaga, you're 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 a life changer. All right, let's let's get into this uh, let's speculation this. map with HN Nightmares. Um, we're gonna start off first at the very top left corner with the unknown IP. Um, obviously, we we did just talk about a few IPs um, that, right that were rumored or that stuff we would like to see. Um, I'm sorry, did you have anything that you would like to? Is there any speculations that you want to no, throw out before no. we move on? No, I mean, I mean, you know, I was hearing kind of the same things you were Five Nights at Freddy's, and I was just uh, thinking more, um, you know, I not so much hearing, but I was thinking like a Megan and and uh, you know just something from Blumhouse, you know, even a uh, uh, like Insidious, the was it the Red Door, the movie came yeah. out, was it last year? Just along those lines. So we don't, I mean, nothing on this map looks like that it could be there except for this. Uh, like this unknown IP, but um, who knows? Who knows? We'll we'll see where we go because things change, and sometimes they say the same. And and I'm excited to to get into this to see what what's what. Who knows? But right now it's unknown. 
Yes. Um, but I think for me, if I had to take an educated guess, I'm going to maybe just, well, I don't know. This is where this map kind of got confusing for me today, right? Okay. Now, I know in the past, or they, this team has put up names instead of logos, right? Or just, you know, little things here and there. Right. Um, so the logo thing kind of throws me off a little bit. I think they're doing it, obviously, to be, um, you know, to really... What I think, and this is what I like about it, they're giving the... They're giving the they're bringing back the old school way of speculating of kind of okay. going off images and 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 seeing what they can relate to. Um, being that we have a few images here, they can relate to a plethora of things. Um, right. Unknown IP. I'm gonna lean heavily towards Five Nights at Freddy's right now. Okay. Um, second backup on that would probably be the rumored Nightmare on Elm Street, um, which I think would be both great mazes to put inside of a soundstage. You know. Um, so that's my speculation for Unknown IP right now. Okay. Um, um, yeah, man, I, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I, off the top of my head, you know, I, I don't, I don't really have anything where this is the sound stage, right? Which sound stage is this? This is the one that's in between Transformers and Nintendo World, uh, where, um, Stranger Things was last year. Oh, okay. So this is a big, that's the big, the, the big, big sound stage, the good one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you're definitely going to need, wow. Sound, yeah, sound stage 15. I think uh I think you you're right you you would need like maybe like a a Five Nights at Freddy's or or something specifically right there cuz that's that's a that's prime real estate when it comes to HHN so especially banger mazes man that have been in and out there Stranger Things uh the weekend the weekend is there I think it's only been really Stranger Things in the weekend no well more the yeah more than recently is cuz the Stranger Things mazes were there, or the houses were there yeah the weekend was there and then you know Last year we had uh, Stranger Things. Things again. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you got to put you got to put one of those heavy hitter heavy hitter houses back there because again, that's pr probably leans more towards like a Five Nights at Freddy's or uh, a more uh, a bigger IP. But okay. I think I think Five Nights at Freddy's and Nightmare are two IPs that are big enough to carry the soundstage. Um, For sure. If they're gonna do Five Nights at Freddy's, the facade I would love to see, obviously, is the the facade for Freddy Fazbender's. Right. Um, I think they have to accomplish that. That that's something that you that we're gonna expect to see if they do announce the Five Nights at Freddy's maze. Um, if you do Nightmare on Elm Street, it's gotta be it's gotta be Freddy's house on okay. Elm Street. Um, I think that's very exceptional. Um, or I'm sorry, I think it's actually Nancy's house. Um, or it used to be. Oh, oh, yeah, I, yeah. I, it depends what lore you go off of, but I think you know what I'm talking about. Like it has yeah, to yeah. be the house that's on Elm Street that started it all, um, or the entrance to a boiler room or something. But um, I, I, the only, the only pushback I'm gonna give you with Nightmare going there is that I don't think they would put it there, uh, just for the fact that is they would, they would probably put if if they did bring uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. I think they could put that, and we've seen it with other houses, uh, like uh, Halloween or or uh, um, Texas Chainsaw. They could do that in like where the mummy queue is, like you know, a tent area. They could do, pull that kind of maze off or that kind of house off in a tent. I feel like they would save a soundstage for um, something that I would say is going to bring a larger audience to, like, not just a horror audience but a movie audience or a music audience um kind of kind of crowd so but i i mean it could go there what do i know it could go to a music maze too that's that's a very good point you bring up uh it, yeah. it hasn't been shy of the event lately and i think uh, another if it's a music ip that could be a lot of fun right um please don't make it another a sequel to the weekend because uh even though i thought the maze was really good i cannot stand in line and listen to that music again i, I just i can't. mean it 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 really didn't bother me, but I don't. I honestly, I want horror nights to go back to rock and roll, rock and roll. Like I, I mean, I don't know, a Metallica, you know, like I, I went through Maiden, bro, Black yeah. Sabbath, dude. I went through Black Sabbath and Alice Cooper at fucking Halloween Horror Nights. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I've gone through those mazes and they were phenomenal, and they I won. can only imagine what they would be like in a soundstage. Yeah, uh, Black so. Sabbath was in a soundstage. Remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there it was you go. all the way out in the in the uh, uh, the metro sets. Um, That's right. 
Okay, but now let's look at the mummy queue right um, right okay. below unknown IP. Now there's something to take a notice here that I that I obviously caught in the speculation map. There's film reels on You're all the there. ones that I think are IPs. Um, so let's take that into account, and that anything else that doesn't have an, a film reel is going to be an original. Um, okay, which that's what I'm speculating that means. Um, it it probably could mean something different, but it's it's logical. Um, no sound. There's only one movie that I can think of that no sound. A Quiet Place. Okay. Now, I know that a lot of people have suggested that to Murdy over the years. Uh, and I know that a lot of people have wanted this property to come to the event for some time. And I know their response has always been, the movie's a very quiet movie. It's really hard to accomplish. Now they got two movies under their belt. A third one coming out really soon. So it'd be a great marketing campaign for the third movie. Um, and... Uh, what I what I think that they should do is is focus more on the scenes where it gets very intense and loud, so okay. you can really sell that story. But if you have actors that come out and are playing that John Krasinski role or that Emily Blunt role or the kids role, you know, you can have them do sign language, but like have like a monster pop out, and that's the loudness of the quiet place. Yeah. I think personally, a quiet place can work as a maze, especially if you watch the second movie where they go to like an isolated island and they can actually talk and speak freely and stuff. Like there is a lot to pull from from a quiet place. By the way, Killian Murphy just won the Academy Award. He was in part two. <laughs> great actor, by the way. Great actor. Great, Peaky great Blinders, actor. all that stuff. Also, the uh, Scarecrow. And, and not a lot of people forget about that one. I, yeah. That's the that's the role that I think I I loved him for the most. Also, let's not forget uh, Twenty Eight Days Later, because I that's where I that's where I first saw him, and I loved him in that movie. And he's coming back to produce uh, and help with the, the the next one in the trilogy, so nice. that should be cool. Nice, but nice. I think um, it's got to be a quiet place. Okay, no, I I one hundred percent see that, and you know what, I I agree with you. But let me let me give some other options. What I thought. So I see that, and yes, a quiet place comes to mind just because of. You know, no sound, but also it could just mean silent, like Silent Hill, which we've had Silent Hill before. So I'm thinking maybe a video game. Well, and that's funny. I'm ahead. sorry. Let me cut you off real quick. That's no, no, funny you bring that up because I think Silent Hill is celebrating a big anniversary this year. There and, and they're doing uh, remasters of, I think, Silent Hill 2. Uh, for like the next gen, like they're gonna kind of give it a Resident Evil treatment, where they're gonna okay. put it on a new engine, but it's gonna be like that same old game. Um, so they're doing that. They're making a brand new Silent Hill game as well, and then I, I think a new a new movie's in the works, and I think uh, is it a movie or a TV show? Movie, I, one of the I, two, but something's okay. in the works as far as live okay. action goes. But okay, Silent Hill. Now thinking about that, especially with everything going on with the anniversary, that would make a lot of sense. So that that's kind of obviously. Uh, a quiet place first thing that popped into my head but then I was just like oh silent like be silent silent hill because you know we're just my mind all of our minds just go everywhere so then but then also I was thinking okay it's in the mummy queue what else do we have in the mummy queue and it made me also think of okay you have to be quiet around clickers so maybe uh uh, the Last of Us, a different version of The Last of Us, or Part Two. So I, I, I'm leaning more towards a quiet place, but Silent Hill and uh, uh, the next step in uh, The Last of Us also comes to mind with with that area, especially since um, you know the Mummy Q is a pretty pretty prime area for big heavy hitter uh, houses. So. Um, but I mean, you're probably right. Probably a quiet place. But well, you know what? Too, I, I I will say this: if they were to bring The Last of Us back and it's the same exact thing from last year, I would not be mad about that one bit. Well, I don't. I think um, I saw a tweet. I forgot. I I think her name's. I mean, I, I think I, I her handles uh, Jennifer. I think she had asked Murdy if there was going to be any repeat mazes or anything like that, and uh, I think he had tweeted like there was not going to be like an exact like repeat but you know how murdy is with his tweets and how cryptic he is so i don't know but i mean if they did bring if they did bring the last of us the exact same version back you know i'm sure that people would be like 
well, we had that last year, but I'd be like, yeah, it was a dope maze last year. It's going to be a dope maze this year, too. Yeah, I would still, still be number one this year. 100%, dude. There's a lot of fans that said if we can go through that one more time, we would, you know? If I could, if I was physically able to pick it up and put it at a lot that I owned and just keep it there indoors so it doesn't get ruined or anything, I would have. I think I walked. You know, I only go, I usually only go once or twice. Last year, I only went once, but I went through that maze or that house, I think, like, Four times. I, I really enjoyed it. The banger. Uh, Soundstage yeah. 22. Last year was home to Exorcist Believer. Okay. Uh, Maze was better than the movie, in my opinion, but okay. Agreed. Um, Agreed. Another film reel. So it's going to be an IP, and it's looking like a skull with some fangs. So first thing that came to mind was something related to a vampire. Okay. You the got any... Uh, I mean, beans that there is like that little film reel right there. You got any vampire movies you want to throw in there or i kind of already said it earlier and i'm going to refer back to it i would strongly only because it was a universal movie the last voyage of demeanor okay wow oh yeah there you go them okay i like that them, that uh i that highly suggest right anyone there. to like if you guys get a chance watch last voyage it's got a slow start but once it gets started it gets going man I haven't seen it, so I'm gonna take your recommendation. Yeah, and, it's it's uh, a it's a fun it. film, especially when you start seeing Dracula just evolve throughout the whole movie. It's amazing. Let me ask you this: Is it rated R? Yes, they oh, all okay. oh hell okay. yes it is. Okay, yeah, yes I mean, it need, is. If Dracula's gonna be eating people, then I need you got to see people. that blood and gore. Yeah, you you <laughs> see blood for sure. I promise you that. You see him kill people. That's that, <laughs> they don't they don't they make sure that's known. Good. I like my Dracula vicious too. Yeah. Um, lo- yeah. But I think okay. inside of a soundstage, that would be perfect. And that space, honestly, uh, we hadn't seen that space in a while. It made a return this past year. Uh, and I think it was a very solid uh, soundstage. Even when walking out, it's like walking right out. You're, there's offices right there. And I was tripping out on that, you know. But that was fun. Uh, I, I More sound stages to us. I mean, if, if that's the plan, I would love to see Last Voyage in, in a soundstage. You know, I uh, when I saw this and this, I just automatically it was like i'm in a daydream about uh what i would like to see there because i do see a vampire you know the teeth it could it could be something else it could be some kind of like monster uh who knows but i'm gonna go with because it looks like vampire kind of style teeth and i my mind went to again wishful thinking but uh fright night because i've wanted to see fright night yes. at horror nights for years so um, you got vampire, but then also, you know, so, so I want to see Fright Night, but then I see vampire I also think like, maybe this is like the Dracula, kind of just Dracula alone maze or house, the Dracula story. Maybe they're not going to do like a full, um, monsters house this year. It's just going to be focused on Dracula. Dracula as opposed to like last, was it last year we had, um, it was, uh, uh it was the universal monsters, um, in the like the catacombs and yeah you, you had know, the phantom you had uh dr jekyll and mr hyde the hunchback man. and the invisible man yeah so instead of red it death being, instead of it being all of them it would just be more focused on one specific uh monster but those are the two things dracula and uh, f- uh fright night for me i'm gonna also throw in there i mean i know this vampire skull kind of looks evil but i'm also not gonna rule it out because they have had they had done some successful comedy horror mazes in the past um and this is more of my favorite recommendation but uh this is more like my personal me but uh what we do in the shadows um you know they're approaching their last season i think this season so what a better way to celebrate the last season than having that season premiere during the haunt season and then having a maze kind of celebrating all five seasons or six seasons cool i mean a good like little love letter if you will that's just me that's a personal like uh, speculation from me um, just because I feel like there is enough content in that show to make a maze, but to, to make it fun. Uh, an example, per, two great examples of that. This is the end and Ghostbusters. Okay. What about, um, uh, what was that one with Nicolas Cage? Was it Ren- Renfield? Renfield could be another possible. That was Universal, yeah. too. And yeah. they, Ren- they kind of they kind of labeled that as the, the sequel to Dracula now because – uh, if you've watched Renfield in the beginning, they kind of do a recap of the original Dracula, but as Nicolas Cage playing Bela Lugosi's okay. roles. And they did a really good job of making him look like Bela Lugosi, so that was really cool. Um, oh, that's cool. Yeah, I, I think this this fun sequel focuses more on Renfield and what in a modern-day world. Uh, 
yeah, I, I think Renfield would be another fun one. I mean, it's it's a there's some. I mean, if you look at him as a vampire in that movie, though, he looks terrifying. Um, yeah. and it's got comedy in it, so I think that and it's you know gore in it, so I think it could be a lot of fun for that. But yeah, there, I mean, there's a wide variety. There's a lot of vampire movies. I'm not even. Uh, this is not. Well, this is this is. That's a, what I'm saying. Like it, it looks. I mean, it, we're assuming vampire, but th- that could be just a monster who has the two fangs coming down. So you know how many monster movies are there? It's insane, but that's what we're speculating because this is this is the half this is half the fun of it. It's ha- it is, it really is. That's why I like it. All right, this is the one that I knew one day would come to our coast. It's already came to the Orlando coast, and now I'm unfortunately going to have to go through it. <laughs> what I'm speculating from this, just based off the image, is we are probably going to get a bugs maze, a bugs maze of some sort. Yeah, I don't like I'm gonna, that. I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna go through it once, and that's it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch you walk through it. And I'm peer you pressure. can't, because I'm you, as scared as I'm going to be. I'm going to heavily have to rely on you to record that maze. <laughs> so you're gonna have to walk in front of me. I'll walk behind you. I'll protect you. Don't worry. I'll use I'll you as a shield. Yeah, yeah, they'll jump on me. <laughs> Meanwhile, the fucking tall ass six foot six guys over there having a panic attack. Yeah, how come that little guy's just walking and that really tall guy's crying? <sighs> Dude, we went through a maze at the Pomona Fairplex this last year when they had their little haunt, and it was a phobias maze, and there was oh, giant yeah. spiders and shit, <laughs> and I was terrified walking through that. They didn't move oh, or anything, man. but it's just scary. <laughs> I just I hate bugs. I don't like bugs. You know, side note that predator guy got me so good. Like I, <laughs> like I yelled. I was just like, ah! But that was a pretty fun <laughs> haunt, though, huh? Yeah, it was. It was really fun. That's a good it. one. Um, but yeah, I, I there. I think there's really no other, unless you have something. But this looks like more of an original. It's probably gonna be a bugs maze. And yeah, I mean, I, I I've obviously I've never been. I'm very infamous from not. I'm saying I'm not going to Orlando. So I've only seen uh, the bugs. Was it bugs eaten alive or something like that? From, yeah, that was a very there. cool concept. But but I'm also thinking. Um, I mean, we had Larry Larver last year. So what if this is a uh, exterminator's maze? Yeah, exterminator's maze or a Larry. You know, more focused around Larry Larva, where he gets his own actual house. You know, it, it's it's funny because like you would have thought with last year's terror tram that I would have freaked out too, but. The difference being with a tear tram and a maze is the tear tram feels more open. Well, you're out. Yeah, you're, you're outside. You're outside. Yeah, you're not enclosed in anything. So Whereas, I, yeah, I, I indoors, you you kind of feel like you're more enclosed, and you got the tent over you, so it's like you kind of feel like you're stuck in that space. But yeah, it's, it's um, more claustrophobic too. It was the same thing when uh, they did Alien versus Predator. Those two okay. years, and they did the fucking scene where the they had all the alien eggs hatching, and all the face huggers yeah. came out, and the I face fucking hug, yeah. terrified <laughs> of face huggers. And there was an entire room of them, and I was like, "Hurry the fuck!" And it happened to just conga line that area right there, and I happened to just be <laughs> stuck there for a second, and I was just fucking having a panic attack. Like, get me out of this room right now! I am terrified. I um, mean, I I believe you. It's just I mean, because you know you've been through. Uh, mazes with myself and robin and yeah you know how robin gets so i understand that it's just like it's i mean for me it's hilarious to watch so i'm sorry (laughs) it is i mean i watched sammy get scared of some mazes too like when he first started that was always the fun part of watching him get scared (laughs) we love you sammy but i've I've watched you get scared too a few times yeah it takes a lot it it takes a lot but i do get scared (laughs) and those are fun times too man yeah, we all have it, our fucking fears. Oh yeah, for sure. We all, have, yeah. You're What's exactly. your biggest fear? <laughs> My biggest fear. Like if it came yeah. to HHN, you'd be like, that kind of is a little unnerving for me. Um, I don't know if it would be fear, but like me, having me like walk near like, like some kind of Ouija board or like stuff like that. I my fears are so the, and the, even like, the supernatural. Like the supernatural stuff is is more where I'm just like. And I'm not like it. I, well, I don't get like where like you guys get like it, like I just get like more like I get closed in. I'm just like, all right, I gotta, you know, you gotta get out of here. <laughs> yeah, let me sign up the cross. And I'll just, you know, how'd I'll you do it. an exorcist last year? Did you feel that way? You know what? There, there were only there was only one time where I felt that way, and I think it was with in the um towards the end where like 
uh, where she is she like floating? Oh, in the chair. Oh, yeah, in the chair, like that. I was just kind of like, I just was like, all right, uh, let's move it. <laughs> but yeah, so that 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 see that makes me more feel like I guess uncomfortable. Like I get uncomfortable like with. Well, I guess because there's realism stuff. to that, though. You know, yeah, like yeah, it's, it's, it's that, in the real life world. See, that's why that's why like with people like. I know people who don't who are think like oh paranormal activity like oh that, there's there's no like scary thing like there's no Michael Myers stabbing you but I'm like that's something you cannot fight like you physically can't like push it away like that yeah. gets me <laughs> yeah no like and that's the funny that's the funny thing this morning is you know I me and Hayes were talking about this this morning at her at her lunch and I sent her the map and we were just trying to de decipher every little thing. And I show her I'm almost certain that T pad is a fucking bugs maze, and I'm gonna be <laughs> hating myself so much through the year. But she is such a a wonderful person. She always uh fucking comforts me when That's I when I say, it comes to give me some positive. She gave me some positive vibes. She just tells me to hold my hand, hold her hand, and close my eyes and walk through it, and <laughs> I'll, I'll and it works. You, it works. It does. There you go. There um, you go. But yeah, I, 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 unless you have anything else, I, yeah, I think those are two great uh, speculations. Yeah, yeah. Either a solo bugs maze, or we expand on the origin of Larry Larva in the Exterminators Man. to Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> That's where we gotta name it that too, because he was that yeah. out there as a character. Like um, the all right, let's make our way to the upper lot. Um, it looks like Terror Tram is returning. Uh, as to what it could be, here is my only uh thing that I, as a maybe a somewhat speculation i'd love to see an original one for starters okay. number one if we are going to do an original one there's one thing I, I i have a request for only because it really got played out really quick um it's still cool to walk through it was still cool to, to see what they do with that area but utilize jupiter's claim differently okay um no more us no more jordan pill i understand you guys are kind of it, it's it's essentially like a thank you for him donating those sets and you guys are giving him that that homage of bringing his worlds together uh which i think the first year was cool last year was again it was cool to see but if i have to do it a third year um like i said it's it's always cool to walk through there but i just i think i would love to see something different and okay. and with the theming of that area and what it looks like, I think some you could theme the regular terror tram to whatever it is. That could be like your grand finale. You know what I mean? Like you thought the plane was the grand finale, now let's walk into Jupiter's claim. Like you're going after set like you go from the Bates Motel to War of the Worlds to Jupiter's Claim and nope. Like lead up and make every area very special. So when you walk through it, you go, How can this next area get better? And then you walk into the next area and you're like, Oh fuck. It just got better. Um, right. So I think if, if they do do the terror, obviously it looks like the terror tram is coming back uh, based off the speculation. If they do do a terror tram this year to expand and extend the story out to uh, Jupiter's claim and retheme it something different, let's let's maybe take a break with the Jordan Peele stuff until he makes another horror movie and then let's market his new horror movie being there. So that's my yeah. opinion. <laughs> uh, as to what it can be, I would love to see an original or uh, another one looks like they might not be an ip it might be more an original but i think uh chucky based off the success of his maze last year could be in a okay. great tear tram i think um i mean just because you mentioned chucky i think uh a mix of chucky and megan would be cool for yeah for the tear tram i don't unfortunately i mean you know, i don't want to be the debbie downer here i think we're not going to get uh anything original as far as like new things I think they're gonna probably put something there that we've seen before. Whether it's been a while since we've seen, like a sequel, well, like a purge. Like it's been a while since we've seen like a purge, um, with the exception of the like the water or you know the the show that the sun show that they put on last year. But as far as like a gauntlet or that kind of stuff, you know, a house, a purge house. So I think we're probably gonna get something along those lines. Although I would like to see um, maybe like a Hollywood Harry come back something like that um but again first and foremost i would love to see something original that we've never seen before uh you know whatever the case may be like uh you know i don't it, it could be anything an alien uh invades you dude, know dude like i'd love that an original yeah, like, alien like yeah, storyline alien story yeah yeah, yeah. and an set it dude make it better set it in the 60s there you go 
Like that's like Roswell, Roswell shit right there, bro. Yeah, oh, I'd love yeah. to see that, dude. Yeah, like see, that would that would be super. Especially cool. like, with the plane crash, bro. It can look so awesome. Like a what? I'm so I'm losing my mind right now. Was it Area 51? Kind yeah, of dude. Yeah, like do some do something like that, like an original like that. But you know, we're probably gonna get purge. You know, who knows? Whatever. But you know, let's give us the original alien maze. I mean, original alien terror tram. That'll work. That'd be fun. I think it'd be really cool, especially with the War of the Worlds set and yeah. with with Nope. That's an alien movie. You right. know, you can really play off the the sound effects of of you know that trigger of when the alien comes every now and then, um, right. kind of make it your own story. Yeah, that's a great great fucking uh, theory right there, Rob. I I, I didn't even because you know Connor. I remember Connor like a few years ago was talking about uh, like an alien scare zone that they did or like a maze that they did or something. Or it was okay. a scare zone that he turned into a maze for maze treatments. Okay. I, I still owe him a plaque. <laughs> <laughs> it's only been five years. It's only been five years. You know, okay, it's been four. Let's let's oh, not sugar bad. let's not sugarcoat my, it. My we bad. haven't reached the reached bad. the fifth the fifth year anniversary yet. For the for the fifth year, he'll give them it. He'll give them that, yeah. <laughs> uh, finally, for five years later, and I'll even put five years later on the bottom. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I think Connor uh, spoke about like an alien concept scare zone that they did that he wanted to see as a maze eventually, and he did a treatment for it, uh, and it was fucking amazing. The treatment really, I think, sold. I think that's that was like the winning treatment or something, or that's what got him to the finals because it really sold uh, us. It was really cool. Um, nice. Yeah, I think you were part of that panel too. I think I was too. You were. Uh, that was oh, the COVID days, right? Yeah. Oh man, but yeah, I, I think an alien place would be cool. But it, it, I think likely it's going to be an original of some sort. Uh, only because okay. I don't feel see a fi film reel on it. Um, and to me, I, I dig original yeah, yeah, Terror okay. over over IP ones. Other than that, Scream and a few of the Walking Dead's and one or two of the Purges. Okay. Um. But yeah. All right. So uh, let's go to Parisian Courtyard. We got a flower, and it looks like it's going to be an original as well. Um, my, what I think is a smart move for Horror Nights to capitalize on is to run more with the Latin American urban legends. Okay. Um, we've seen La Llorona. We've seen El Cucuy. We've seen Monsteros. All have been fantastic mazes. Um, storytelling was great. Uh, you've had you even had Danny Trejo narrate El Kakui. Um and the visuals for that were terrifying. La Llorona, I've now seen that three times at Halloween Horror Nights, and every time I've been through it, it's gotten better. Um, especially this past year, that, or the in 2022 when they brought it back. You know, I know Sammy had been a big fan of this one as well, watching the the walkthroughs and everything, and for him to finally get to go through it, you know, that was a, that was a lifelong dream for him. You know, as ever since he became a Haunt fan, so. I'd say I don't know what the flower can necessarily stand for right now, but I say pick up more of those folk tales and run with them because okay. you guys are. You, it looked like last year you guys were trying to do something similar to how you started Universal Monsters originally, and then you spawned off different storylines with Universal Monsters. Same can be done with the Latin American folk tales. Okay, I uh, I see this. And I've heard, you know, it's hard to not being in in our world. It's hard to not hear other people's um, thoughts on it, and you know, kind of to influence, you know, your thoughts. And um, so, one of the things that had popped up, and I just heard it was someone bringing up like Alice in Wonderland, just the flower. I have been seeing that a lot lately too. Uh, so yeah, so yeah, so that. That I mean, that stuck in my head and made me run with it. And I'm thinking like, oh yeah, Alice in Wonderland, that would be really cool, you know. Um, just the all the kind of you know dark things that go on in Alice in Wonderland, and and I believe also believe Murdy was um, he you know he's cryptic with his words, and he had made a few references uh, going down the rabbit hole and all the that. rabbit hole and stuff like that. So that that kind of made me lean more towards believing that it was going to be some type of um, demented Alice in Wonderland, but then also I'm thinking, you know, what about Alice Cooper? Um, you know, third time. We had, yeah, we haven't had we haven't had a a, a rock music house uh, back then. It was a maze. Um, so, but but then one thing I think I I don't know when I brought it up. This was maybe a few months ago. Um, as far as 
these, like you were saying, his, the lore and deep digging into different lores and and different cultures and um, just it being a flower. And and again, I look at where where it's gonna be at and the past maze or the past mazes and houses that were there. I'm thinking like, well, maybe this flower has something to do with like uh, uh, a certain area in the world where only this flower grows and maybe it's like it's un uninhabitable by by people and there's these like monsters and these weird like jungle creatures that live there and maybe like you know for whatever you know like i think i had mentioned like maybe like the amazon and all the lore that goes on there and the animals and and the creatures that we've never seen before living in there maybe he's going to go somewhere along those lines so you know, I had a few a few thoughts. One of them, again, the Alice in Wonderland, the Alice Cooper, and then the like an original, um, you know, Amazon or you know some type of jungle uh, type of, of house to walk through. Yeah, no, that's a really good uh, a good uh, theory. And then also another thing when I thought about the flower too was um, I thought about that one scene from the original Frankenstein where okay. the little girl is picking up the flowers and i know that the monster has been involved with probably more universal monster mazes than just about well that's not true i would say dracula probably has been more involved now um but i think maybe they're probably they're about tied they're both up. yeah they're both up there yeah but i think to see a solo universal monsters frankenstein maze would be really cool to kind of get his story after the bride you know right. now him being this kind of vampire uh, like undead, undefeatable machine, this unstoppable monster. Now, like okay. that storyline for me would be cool. And like I said, the only thing I, the only reason I brought up the flowers is because there is that one scene where the where he's playing with the little girl and she gives him flowers. Right. And then that's of course that scene where he kills her, but not you know that wasn't never his intention. Um, I think that I mean that could be cool, but no, a, a wide variety of what we what was just talked about as far as a speculation of what that could be. I mean at this point it could be anything. I will right. give them this though. The last couple of years that they've done originals, um, they have not disappointed. Oh, for sure. They, I think, uh, Scarecrow is a great example. Yeah, they, and I, I think, and that's a good thing because then it leads them more towards like, okay, we can do originals, and they'll be the 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 audience, the crowd, the the you know us as fans will be receptive to it because we've had originals, and you know if we just who pooed on all the originals and we want IPs and you know, we're That's what we're going to get. But being is that, you know, people are receptive to these original uh, houses that they're bringing is always a good thing. Definitely, man. Definitely. So yeah, th th I mean, there's a wide variety of things that can be going there. Um, but let's talk about this next one at the walking dead location. Yeah. Um, there is no other, there's no other answer to this one other than one. No, no, no. There is there there's is an answer. not there's another an answer. So, there go is ahead. not. Go ahead. And it makes sense as to why that this is going to be this for this year. And but that go is ahead. Ghostbusters. I don't know okay. what adaptation of Ghostbusters. I don't know if they're going to do the original one again. Um, I don't know if they're going to do part two or they may even do after like they even they could do Frozen Empire because it will be out on digital by then and DVD. Right. Um, but it's the Cadillac logo. And right. for those who know. The Ecto-1 is actually a Cadillac. It is. Um, so there's just no other – there's no. There's just – there's not. It, it's right. it's got to okay. be Ghostbusters. I don't know if it's going to be Afterlife, but I think it's – I'm going to lean more towards Frozen Empire because there's going to be a lot more to work with in that one as far as uh, the monsters and the ghosts go. Okay. Um, I mean uh – and I inside the Walking you. Dead stage, man. I mean, Evil Dead was there last year, Horror Hotel the year before. I mean, it's a good location, man. And uh, what would be even more cool is if some by some miracle they can pull out an Ecto-1 and stick it in the front of the facade. That would be pretty cool. I think they could do that. Um, <clears throat> but I will say this. Don't say Christine. You're... No, I'm not going to say Christine. Okay. Uh, although that did pop in my head, but it's like you can't. That it's a car. You yeah, can't it's like cars. how do you get? I, I told that to yeah. say because me and Hayes were like because I brought that up. And I'm like, but how the fuck are you gonna do that with a yeah, car? Yeah, you, you get a car. This is what it is. This is now. Hear me out. Hear me out. This is a Cadillac, and we all know. Uh, there's a famous rapper who sings about Cadillacs. Uh, Cadillac grills. Look at the oil that my Cadillac spills. Cadillac grills, Cadillac mills. Check out the oil my Cadillac spills. That is ludicrous. <laughs> and hold on, I'm not done. And ludicrous is in Fast and the Furious. 
So this is going Don't to be a it. Fast and the Furious <laughs> house horror style. No, no, I'm just messing around. Uh, Tony, you're completely right. Ecto-1 is a Cadillac. It, we are getting Ghostbusters. The more the <laughs> speculation here is I think we're getting... And I'm nothing to base this on other than my logic is I don't think we're getting Ghostbusters Frozen Empire because uh, Murdy would have probably had to start all this stuff um, a while back. Let me, pause you. Let me pause you right there. Go ahead. Go ahead. Just because he hasn't seen the movie right. doesn't right. mean the studio doesn't give him a script. Very true. Because he did you that. He did that with Truth or Dare when it came you, to Halloween Horror Nights. You are 100% correct, but this is what I think. I think we're getting Ghostbusters Afterlife. Okay. So, and and this is why. I mean, for one, you are right. They could give him a script to Frozen Empire, but like, hey, this is, and we've seen what he's, we've seen what, what they've done with, with uh, like, like Exorcist. The movie didn't come out. They gave him only so much, and he made that work, and it was probably one of the scariest houses to walk through last year if not the scariest in my opinion um i just think ghostbusters afterlife it's per i in my opinion it would probably be the as far as there's really no like difference between this that ghostbusters and frozen empire as far as like it's kind of the same set the same characters and i think that also taps into um, just being like the younger crowd, uh, you know, with, with the younger, you know, the kids being the Ghostbusters now. Th it taps into that Stranger Things crowd. Um, and, and get me wrong, I love, I love Ghostbusters. <laughs> and Finn Wolfhart's in, in both of them. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So it, it taps into that Stranger Things crowd where it's like you're gonna, you're gonna get um, those younger kids who are like, oh, I saw, I saw him in that one, and now the, that that movie is a house at horror nights so i'm gonna go through there but i mean it could be if, if you're telling me you're gonna give me the exact same ghostbusters that we got a couple years ago i'm all for that because that was a great house i wouldn't be yeah I, and i i was just talking about that with mooch the other day um and and and, and all you know all them and and i said yeah. i was like that was the underdog maze of, the, of that year i mean it was just so impressive how they pulled it off and if it were to come back again i would not be mad about that one bit because that maze for was sure. beautiful for sure I do think we're gonna get based off this the this little this little symbol here. I think we're gonna get the Ghostbusters. I just I think we're getting Afterlife, but you know it could be any one of them. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna say it here now and then. I have not. I didn't watch Hauntline stream, so if they said it on there, I didn't see that yet. Uh, I'm gonna go back and rewatch that uh, later on tonight. Um, I have not. Uh, the only one I've told this to is Hayes right when I found out the map went live. Um, this is my prediction right now. Uh, and again, I don't know if anyone else has said it, but this is what I'm going to predict. Ghostbusters does come out in theaters in a few weeks. Um, right. I believe at the end of the month. And I think, and we are in speculation season and we are actually inching, inching closer towards announcement season for Horror Nights. I speculate right now that if Ghostbusters is true on this speculation map, that it will get announced as a maze it will be the first maze to get announced for Horror Nights this year uh, to, to line up with the premiere of Ghostbusters. Interesting. I think, Interesting. honestly, you, you cannot not take advantage of that marketing opportunity because literally the marketing opportunity is um, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire now in theaters and then uh, this October or this September come see it at Halloween Horror Nights and, and live it. You know, it's something like that, obviously, but yeah, yeah, that's... it's a great marketing point for both the event and for the film. Um, cause people are now going to go rush to the theater to go see that. And then they're going to want to come to Halloween Horror Nights come time, September, October and go see that. So Very good point. Very good point. And I'm, uh, I still say we're getting afterlife, but that's good marketing to do, uh, frozen empire, which is the sequel, which is the sequel. So by the way, very much looking forward to that movie. I think it's going to be another fun one. Oh yeah. I already got my ticket. Oh, I haven't been to a fucking midnight show in in so long now. I'm old. Yeah, I, I think what? Oh, I saw Chauncey. I'm oh, not Chauncey. Freaking imaginary. Imagine. Saw what, imaginary. Was it good? It was. There were things I liked and things I didn't like. Did you? Were you guys sponsored to say that? No, 
We were not sponsored. Okay, because you guys pre <laughs> you guys came off like you guys motherfuckers were sponsored. <laughs> like we just saw Imaginary. And it's in theaters now. Get your tickets. I'm like, these motherfuckers just start their podcast and they got a sponsorship. I'm like, no, damn. We, no, we weren't sponsored. But but I mean, realistically, like the more me and me and Scott had talked about it, I started to like the movie a little more. It just like a lot of the flaws kind of drug it down. But there was there's potential. If especially, I mean, you know, just all side note here, especially if they decided to make it an HHN house, then it would be amazing. But well, you already saw that. I didn't. I'm sad. Uh, did you get to go to the experience? I didn't get to go to the experience. Yeah, no. I just just it did scheduling and stuff like that. I know we I know we out. tried to work it out, but it just didn't yeah. work out. And yeah. uh, I know Tim, the new trio over there, Tim Hotline and, and Entertainment Connection, man, those guys. Yeah. Um. Um. Except Tim, F Tim, um, <laughs> but I love Nico and I love John. I look up to John and and Nico's just he's on God he's on God mode. He's he's he is <laughs> he is our like our YouTubers social friends list. He is the Roman Reigns of that, but like a cooler, <laughs> you know. He is the YouTube chief. Nico's pretty cool. Nico, Nico is, is cool. cool. He gets up Nico on top of hills bad. to get construction photos. That's him. He got hey, called hey, out at it. Midsummer Scream. <laughs> in front of John Murdy when me and you were the ones leading it on. I know. We were like, Nico! <laughs> Knights of Horrors, assholes. Um, <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, I, I think that uh, my prediction, I'm going to say this right now, if if we're going to get any first announcement, it's and if Ghostbusters is true to come, it's going to be Ghostbusters. Yeah, whether it be Afterlife, whether it be Frozen Empire, um, either way, it's going to be a great marketing and on brand for the Ghostbusters brand. So uh, for sure. great marketing for Hornites, great marketing for uh, Sony and Ghostbusters brand. Um, and let's see it. Let's see it happen. Let's make it happen. Yeah, let's do it. Um, all right. We got three unknown scare zones in their usual locations. That means whatever's in Parisian Courtyard is probably going to end. Uh, with the continuation of that scare zone, so we can expect right. those two to be tied in. Potentially, uh, if you look at the history of an, uh, the panels that HHN put on at Midsummer Scream, a lot of the times the mazes he breaks down are the ones that are in the Parisian courtyard. I've noticed that. There's been a okay. few here and there, like he's done the mummy queue every now and then, but there's always a one maze that he talks about that's in the Parisian courtyard because of that link scare zone because it's a du it's a dual announcement essentially. Right. Um. Right. So I mean, it's it's not. Uh, I love it every single year. It's it's fun to to see what's coming to the event, but that we can expect to be a, a connect to the maze. We got, of course, your regular New York Street and your front gate right there. So as to what those will be, I mean, last year we didn't get those announced until like the day before the event so i was like okay that's that's cool yeah i was like cool um death eaters looks like it's returning harry potter world we love that um and it looks like we're gonna have two shows again in the dreamworks theater and at water world uh so I enjoyed Purge last year. I really did. Um, maybe, and the, maybe this year I'll catch them. <laughs> I know. You didn't catch them last year. You should. Yeah. Dude, it's, it's, yeah. it was a fun show. Um, that was fun. But I don't suggest people watch it twice because if you've seen it once, you kind of already know the big reveal at the end. So it was just kind of like, okay. Uh, even the Blumhouse show was a lot of fun, especially because, you know, me and Sammy got to see the, the dancing Megan. So that was that was cool. Nice. Um, all right, let's get to our last two mazes on this thing. I still say mazes. It's a SoCal thing. Yeah. Um, it, it takes a while to get used to saying how. I even always correct myself. Houses, mazes. Yeah. Mazes. H-Lot Tents, uh, Curious George area. Now, one of them looks super fucking obvious, and one of them I could not gather for shit. So I'm going to heavily rely on you for that that moon one. Okay. I got you. I got you. But the knife. Two things come to mind. Okay. Michael Myers. Okay. And Chucky. Because Chucky okay. uses the same exact knife. Okay. Chucky, we know last year, was uh, something that came out of left field out of nowhere. Like, I'm not going to lie, going into this event, I was not excited for that maze. I, did, I couldn't care less for it. But coming out of that maze... I was so blown away of what they did and, and how well detailed it was, how much animatronics were used blended with real actors. They created something for the future of the haunt industry to forever uh, elevate that, that, that experience. And I imagine 
They probably throughout the run had so many technical difficulties because you just you you're gonna have technical difficulties if you're running those things eight hours a night. Right. But kudos to them. They they freaking killed it with that maze, and I was blown away by it. And it actually it made it pretty high up. I think on my on my uh my review list, you know, overall because I just I didn't expect it to be that well put together. Um, so Chucky season, another season of Chucky coming back, especially with them kind of already doing the social marketing for season three with, it looks like an old, old man Chucky. I don't know if you've seen those pictures, but yeah, it looks amazing. And I'm just like, that's cool. Okay. I'm kind of interested in seeing what you guys are going to do, but Chucky would make sense if not Halloween, but you, I, I need to see something that I haven't seen already. Cause I've, I'm tired of going back and forth to one, two and four. Right. I was like, give me something else. Give me 2018. Give me Halloween 3. But, yeah, I'm tired of going back to those same three ones. So if they do Halloween, I need something different. Okay, so <clears throat> this is what I thought. Obviously, Chucky kind of stands out for me. Chucky. Um, yeah, Chucky very much stands out. Looks like the knife he uses, but... Also, I went to Scream, okay. and I mean, we got a new Scream movie coming out, and you know, it, it looks vaguely like the Scream, like the Scream knife. So, you know, Chucky is, is very high up there for me, where I'm just like, ah, that definitely. But in my in my wish list, uh, and I know it's been very difficult. That's I think I think scream. it's not only yours. That's also ninety nine percent of the haunt community's wish list too. Right, is that we want to see Scream? So hey, listen, this, it worked with WWE with We Want Cody. We just need yeah. to start the We Want Scream movement for Halloween well, Horror Nights. Think, yeah, I think we have to just keep like tweeting or hashtag We Want Scream yeah, at we HHN. Want, we want Scream. But now here's my other thought. You had mentioned uh, you had mentioned Halloween, right? Mm-hmm. What if we get one of the newer Halloweens? Uh, yeah, I, like I said, 2018 or ends or kills, like or just mash them all up. Or ma yeah, there you go, mash them all together. So I, I'm more, I'm more on the lines of, I'm thinking it's one of those uh, properties, one of the newer screams. Even if it's all three of them together, um, again, scream is at the top of my list. But uh, again, with the popularity and and. Not and for good reason. Uh, if Chucky came back, uh, you know, kill count part two or the most kills ever, whatever you're gonna call it, uh, it was a really good house last year, probably top three for me. So I wouldn't mind seeing it again. What was your number one? Was it Last I, of Us or Monster? I think it was, I think it was Last of Us and Monster was, was two, yeah, and then Chucky. Okay, that's a good, that's a good solid three right there for last year, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so. I'm going to throw another one out there for you. Let's hear it. Only because they are starting a three-chapter thing so far. The Strangers. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah I, that movie's coming out pretty soon, no? Yeah. Chapter one is coming out soon, and they, and they got a, a trilogy planned out for like a, a soft reboot. And I guess within this trilogy, you're supposed to figure out the origin story of who the Strangers are, which... As a horror fan, I don't know if I like that necessarily, because what made that movie that movie and that movie so good... Mm -hmm. was the fact that you didn't know who these people were and they just came and right. did this shit and left. Like, simply for the reason because pe people were home, that's why they killed people. And right. I, and, and the an 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 anonymity, an anonymity be behind the characters right. was just, that, that's what made it fascinating to me. I was like, fuck, why are they doing this? I guess we'll never know. But that You know what? I mean, being as, I mean, I didn't even, I took, I know I saw the trailer not too long ago for uh, I forgot what it, I know it's the strangers, but I forgot like the, you know they have like look the little subtitle. Yeah, this one's just strangers, the strangers chapter one. Okay, being as that the movie is coming out, I mean the knife does work. I mean it, it is we think Chucky because that looks very familiar to like a Chucky knife, but I mean it could be any kind of slasher, you know that uses the knife really. So yeah. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of those. You know, what when, when I mean, just that popped in my head. I'd love to see a uh, uh, your you've seen your next, right? Oh yeah, that's another good one. I, yeah, I would love to see like a your next house. That'd be pretty cool. Okay, just a bunch of Home Alone traps for for adults. Yeah. Okay, hear me out. 
Eli go. Eli Roth had a very successful slasher movie last year. Okay. Thanksgiving. Right. Ooh. And they have Eli Roth has that friendship with Murdy. Um, we've seen Hostel at the event. We've seen him do a terror tram. It would be pretty cool to have a Thanksgiving maze during Halloween. That's a good pull. That and that was that was That's a good pull. That was honestly, I'm not gonna lie, that was a fun slasher movie. Okay. Like you know you're the second person today that's told me that. I was talking to really? someone early at the yeah, I, I was talking to someone early at the gym this morning and they were like, Oh, have you because they know I do the YouTube stuff and like do movie reviews like oh have you seen thanksgiving and i was just like oh this the like the horror movie and they were like yeah, yeah have you seen i was like no nah. they're like it's actually really fun and kind of gory and i think you would like yeah. it and i was just like yeah, check it out because it's actually like a serious but like a fun slasher movie that is tied into like the holiday of thanksgiving so i'm like this is actually like this is cool like i actually have something to watch on thanksgiving now like a slasher movie that can fit in with the fucking the holiday. Like this is cool yeah. and yeah, I'm like the kills are cool. Check it out now. Yeah, it's a good one. I highly suggest it. I think it's on Max now. Oh, it, oh yeah, I think it might be. A, I just saw it either on Max or it was on one of the streaming services, but I just okay. saw it recently. I think I have them all. So yeah, you do. I know you do. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, there, I mean, like you said, there's a wide variety of what that knife can symbolize. We do know it's an IP with the film reel. Um, right. So, yeah, there could be a wide variety of slasher kills. Or, for all we know, the knife is just throwing us a fucking curveball, and it could be something completely different that has nothing to do with that goddamn knife. That's true. It could be, like, butter on the knife. and Yeah. And... Let's talk about buttered sausage. Let's talk about your cable ace award. Let's talk about buttered seven. sausage. Talk about buttered sausage, where it comes from, what it does. Why is it doing what it's doing? Get it out of my face. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do that, guys. Uh, all right. This one's all you, man. I don't I don't know what this could mean. What does this moon okay. and stars mean? What is okay. your thoughts? I would love I would love to take credit for this, but I'm gonna be an honest person here. I had to I had to hear other people say it, and I'm pretty sure and I'm thankful for them. I'm thankful for them saying it and and uh I I I can't I can't remember if it was Nico or if it was Mr. E, but it's probably they gonna be Nico because you can't trust Mr. E. Yeah, yeah, I can't trust Mr. E. But he, he, I trust he ain't a, he ain't a three time, three time. Yeah, I don't know yeah, why I put four up. Yeah. Three time, try not to get scared, champion. Yeah, I, Mr. E, I cannot trust him, but Nico, I can trust. So this looks very similar. I pulled it up right here on my phone because I wanted to make sure. Um, very similar to the Nightmare on Elm Street Dreamwalkers, like the the cover, the Dream Warriors. Like, yeah, no, 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 it's Dream Walkers. The Dream Walkers. Dream Warriors is different, but Dream Walkers. It's like it, where it says like sleep well. Oh, um, okay. It, it's like got like the moon and the stars, and they're all like kind of in the same place, the, the exact same place. So this just leads me to believe, because I trust Nico, that this is going to be a nightmare on Elm Street House. Thank God. I I really hope so. Um. I, I honestly would not have even put that together. Um, Me neither. I had, to, I had to borrow it from someone else. <laughs> hey, at least you borrowed it from from the someone, the brain the, right there, man. Yeah, the legend himself. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I just I, – I didn't even put that together. But, yeah, that that's a good – a good call and you know we we mentioned that in the beginning of the video of course with the rumors by the way if you guys have been with us this long we appreciate you um yes, thank you but we we talked about the rumors of a nightmare on elm street uh that's been talked about lately in the in the haunt community i've been seeing it all over tiktok i've been seeing it in the, in the reddit forums um all over social media you know and and word gets around quick like like a wildfire you know and and um so yeah it's it, if that is the case i mean i'm for it dude Give oh, me some sure. Elm Street, bro. I'm I want to see a solo Freddy maze. There's so much you can pull from his catalog of kills that you can just do a best of maze and do kind of like an ultimate kill count with Freddy Krueger. You know, like that should be that should be what they should do. Is like they should license all these IPs and do like an ultimate kill count of all their best kills in cinema. That would be cool. Like That'd honestly, because cool. like you'd be getting not only the solo maze of that person, but you'd be also getting some of the most iconic kills in the film. Like I'm just like, dude. I'll buy five fuck. I'll buy a frequent fear pass and go every single night of the event and wait two hours to go on that. And maze. we all know Freddy's killed people very iconically. Yeah, uh, from Nightmare on Elm Street all the way till fucking now, you know. And 
Jason Blum is very eager. He does want to do another Nightmare on Elm Street movie. He is trying to get those rights, and he highly believes that he can get Nancy and Robert England back. So um, I think it'd be cool for Robert England to do one last one to kind of pass the torch or like hang it up, you know, and go out in style. Uh, They need to do like a a final like face off. This needs to be like the last one, you know what I mean? Like versus Nancy versus Freddie one last time. No, for sure. I I mean, again, I mean, it's just when you see the picture from from, you know, I, I Googled it when you see that picture and then just see the the logo that they have here. I'm like, that's pretty spot on. So I can't, I can't, can't, you can't yeah. not uh, disregard it. Exactly. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping we get a solo Freddy house, you know, with, and get to see. Hopefully, the the facade is the house that yeah, you know, the one you were talking about earlier. Right. Um. You know, that would be really cool. And just you know, whether they follow one story, like one specific story. Or if they're gonna do a mashup of all of Freddy's kills, or just different stories, mesh them all together, you know, that'd be cool to see. Uh, either or, I agree. I I think it could be a lot of fun, especially with Freddy. Um, Freddy is a fun character as far as joking goes, as far as yeah, um, one liners, as far as the kills go. So it could be a lot of fun. And and how cool would it be to see Robert? England there on the red carpet uh, for opening night, dude. That'd be That'd so be cool. fucking cool, man. That'd be like a dream come true for me. Um, so yeah, dude, you I can't. You can't take your glove though. You cannot take I your know, glove. I know. I can, and then take it back to the car. That's true. That's true. <laughs> hey, they, hey, can you meet me at my car? Cause I got something for you to sign. And I'm like, I can't bring it in here because they'll consider it a weapon. <laughs> and I have no intention of harming anybody with it. I just really need you to put a Sharpie on it and sign yeah. away your just signature. Just be like, here, here's my car keys. I'm parked in, you know, slot B. Just go sign that what's in the front seat. <laughs> Dude, that'd be great. But listen, there is a lot that we've covered. I think a lot that we've speculated today. A lot yes. that we've tried to break down. Let us know what you guys think these symbols mean. Um, what you guys think all this, all this stuff means. Um, and what are your guys' speculations for Halloween Horror Nights 2024? Uh, we're gonna be coming back on the channel probably relatively uh, regularly now. Um, we already upload every week, but uh, for haunt updates and stuff, you'll start seeing that more frequently as we start rolling out to things. We got Screen Break coming up. Um, I know Rob and I will probably make a video talking about uh, if we both go uh, to Rain of Terror. Halfway to Halloween should be coming up pretty soon. Usually Um, in April. Yeah, so we're you know we got a couple things coming up. Um, There's a lot of Midsummer Scream news that we're going to be talking about. Sammy and I are going to be planning a video pretty soon to talk about that. So stay tuned. A lot of news coming up. Uh, We're approaching the 200th episode of the Mindless Horror Podcast. Can't wait for that. Um, And a lot more things going to be returning. You'll probably see Rob on the channel a little bit more now. I'm excited, Rob. It's going to be a yeah, good year. It's, it's, yeah, it's going to be fun. I can't wait. But yeah, let us know what you guys think. Follow uh, Rob on all his socials at The Howling Hour. Um, of course, follow us at The Knights of Horror. Uh, without any further ado, I'm your host, Anthony. That's my boy, Rob. There, right there. Yeah, there we go. That's Rob. And uh, <laughs> y'all stay spooky. Stay <laughs> spooky.